Hello and welcome back fellow Final Girl survivors. Today we are back with another Final Girl discussion video where we are going to be talking about the newly released Final Girl companion app. Now this was a little bit of a surprise from Van Ryder and this is an app that kind of helps enhance your Final Girl playthroughs. If you've played it as much as I have and you're a bit of a statistics data nerd, this app kind of gives you a cool way to track your games and just add a little bit of variability in how you set things up. And so I have the app here. I was just going to give you guys a quick walkthrough of kind of what it actually is used for. And uh, you can kind of see if it might help you and make your, your Final Girl games a little bit more enjoyable. So here, it's a pretty basic app in all honesty, um, but you can see here when you first set it up, you're going to have the chance to go into your settings, and the first thing you're going to be prompted to do is to set up your collection. So you can go here and you'll check off all of the different um, feature films or vignettes that you have as part of your Final Girl collection. And this is important because a lot of the coolness of this app kind of comes from the um, automatic um, kind of variability and setup that it offers depending on what you have selected here. So you can see I have everything here except this one promo, um, but everything else is checked off there. Um, other couple kind of general things, larger font, keeping the screen on. Um, you can also use gruesome deaths or the desperation die or signature action. So if you have those um, box of prop items, you can use them in the app as well. It's pretty comprehensive. So let me show you the bulk of this here. So here when you go in, you hit new game and you can either set extreme horror mode or standard. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit standard here. And really all it does here is you can hit this little random button here and it's just gonna, you know, randomly select a final girl, a killer, and a location for you. And right out of the gate, I do want to mention that this is really helpful because we do have the um, series one and series two, those secret boxes that, spoilers, they're dice that let you, you can roll and they randomize killer and location setup. But there's no way to have all of the locations from series one and series two in that die row, right? You can only roll one set or the other. So this kind of gives you a true comprehensive way to randomize everything that has been released so far. And here, right, you can also add the North Pole Killer. So moving forward, this can be updated to really continue to offer that. If you don't like the final you got, you can go in here and you know manually select what you want. There's a little search function here so you can um, pick whatever you want. Uh, same thing for the killers here. You can see nice little portraits for all of them. So you know, you're not obviously bound to using any of these, um, but you can select them if you want to. Um, also here, if you want to just narrow it down, you can just narrow it to series one or series two or just the special ones, which obviously we only have one of right now. Um, so again, we'll just hit a random one here. And again, it gives you those three things. You'll hit next. And then you'll have a couple more little um, options here where you can use the desperation die. Um, you could use the signature actions and you could choose to trigger these things. And you'll see the gruesome deaths are locked out. And I'll show you that in a moment, guys, where you can actually like, do these little add-on packs that will add on um, the scenarios and gruesome deaths and the lore bits. Um, but of course, I have all of this as physical media, so I don't really have a reason to have that in the app specifically because I have all the physical books. In addition to doing the location killer and final girl, you'll also be able to randomize the setup. So it'll take the setups to the corresponding location and you can uh, randomize them here and also track how many times you've played each of them. So a nice way if you kind of ask yourself, have I actually played all of these? It's again, a nice way to, to really get granular on how you track your final girl data. Um, here you can see it has the rules and the special setup for the specific killer and location. So again, nice to have that if you're playing with your phone next to you, you don't need to have like the different sets of paper. It kind of like condenses it here, which is nice. So when you actually start the app, this is what it's going to look like here where you will have a little timer. So it is kind of nice and it's interesting to see how long different maps and killers will take to play through. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward here where it's gonna have the victims that it'll pull from whatever the setup is. It'll know how many victims are there at the start. And as you play, you can add victims to the killed or the saved um, options here. Um, you can just hit kill or save. And down here, it'll track the bloodlust as well as um, the different uh, ultimate ability. So if you hit the threshold for the final girl, it'll remind you, hey, you have your ultimate ability. Um, so again, I actually, honestly, I don't really update this live in the game. Usually I'll leave this running in the background while I'm playing the game. And then when I'm done, I'll enter this data um, just to keep track of how many victims 
and um, were killed and saved and different health tracks and stuff. So not so much. I think it's a little fidgety, honestly, to do mid-game to like click this back and forth. It's really not necessary. Um, but post-game, I find it interesting to collect that data afterwards. Um, so let's go ahead and say we, uh, in a very unlikely scenario, we beat Inkanyamba. So we'll change his health to zero. And you can see once it recognizes either the final girl or the killer has zero health, it'll prompt you that, hey, is this the end of the game? And then it has a nice confirmation screen. So if you accidentally like, double click something, it's not gonna automatically end your game. Uh, let's go ahead and say I won this. And then we can also delete this from the history. I'm not gonna inflate my wins here. Um, and now this is actually maybe my favorite thing that the app tracks, and that is the achievements. So the achievements are part of every feature film. They'll have a bunch of different conditions that you can go for, but are just little challenges or little different conditions you can fulfill. So when you finish a game, it's gonna prompt you to, hey, do you wanna look at the achievements that you possibly got? And it will flag the different potential ones that you completed based on what your setup was. And so you can check them off here. You can see, um, Win a game at Camp Happy Trails, so it knows you accomplished that. Um, defeat five killers at Camp Happy Trails. It'll start to track, hey, you beat Inkanyamba here. And as you do more games, it'll add those killer icons there. Um, and then there's a couple of conditional ones where, you know, if you fulfilled this, you could check it off, and then it'll tell you the date that you did this. So, you know, the achievements were something that I never really specifically went for, right? It's like, I'm setting up the game, I don't really like keep those in mind, but having them tracked in the app here is a little more motivation of, okay, I'm gonna specifically go out of my way to try to get that just because there's so much more visibility here, um, which is kind of nice. So the achievement tracking, um, probably my favorite um, little feature here because it's kind of one of those things that I never really paid much attention to, um, but this gives it a way more visibility. You also have the option to add any notes. Um, I haven't really found a reason to add notes quite yet, but you know, it's there if you want to and it'll tie it to this specific game, um, which is kind of neat. So if you're doing any like kind of maybe custom setup or any like weird challenges, you can kind of set that up in the notes so you remember what you actually did. And at that point you hit end game and it's gonna be added to your statistics. So I'll open this up here and you can see here, it will keep track of every game that you played. Um, so you can go to your final girls and it will show you your most recent one, um, or you can kind of show which final girls have been played with. So you can see I did two games with Yuki and I have one win and one loss. It'll track your win loss ratio. It'll show you how many killers or how many victims were killed and saved with this final girl. Um, you know, the average time of the games played with it. So just a lot of cool data um, that you're able to collect. You can see here, there's a tab for the killer. Uh, same idea, the poltergeist has a 100% win against me, and same thing for locations where it'll give you all that information. Um, and here you can see the game logs, so if you want to uh, select a specific one, it'll show you the date and then the end conditions of all those, as well as the uh, different setup conditions. Um, so that's pretty much the bulk of what the app can do. Um, I will say one kind of gripe I have with it is that um, you can see here the two deluxe packs. So you can buy these here for a couple bucks and they'll add lore, gruesome death scenarios for all the series one and series two products. Um, I wish there was a way to tie your, um, you know, having it as physical media and just having like a code that you could unlock those series one and series two deluxe packs. I don't think there's a way to do that. Um, and again, you have these in physical form, so it doesn't really matter, but it would be nice to just have those unlocked if you already own them in person. But if you, you know, if you didn't back the Kickstarters and you want those different um, scenarios and all that, this is a nice way to get it without having to go out of your way to buy um, the booklet. This is a nice way to get it. So if you don't have it, it's nice to have, but it would be great if you had it already to have an easier way to get it. And that pretty much does it for the companion app. It is a, a really neat, Companion, right? It's kind of in the name there, um, but just a cool way to track data. I already log my games separately, but to get so much specific detail for a specific game of Final Girl is, is really neat. Um, so let's go ahead and do one more setup here. We're gonna go standard. We're gonna hit a random setup, and it looks like we have classic Lori versus the Poltergeist at the Carnival of Blood. And if you guys wanna see how this matchup is going to go, click on the video right here and I'll take you to my playthrough of this setup. All right, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.